And at 4 o'clock as well, we got Indiana State, which started off its season with a win, traveling to Purdue, started off its season with a loss, also a team that could be knocked out of playoff contention with a loss, um, but they are playing Indiana State. Purdue favored by 35, and a, 35 points on the Big Ten Network. Aiden O'Connell last week played well enough to win that football game. I think a lot of Penn State fans know that. He went 29-58, through for 356 yards, one touchdown, zero interception, 50% completion percentage. King Doru had 15 carries on the ground for 57 yards and two touchdowns, and Charlie Jones had 12 catches for 153 yards and a tutty. Um, Purdue played well enough to win last week. They just didn't end up playing well enough on defense at the end of it. Obviously, Sean Clifford ended up leading an amazing uh, drive to go down that football field and score and win that football game. Great, great drive by Sean Clifford, but you got to give a lot of credit to Purdue. Purdue played a phenomenal football game last week. And they played well enough to win that game. And they really showed that they can contend in the Big Ten West this year. Um, and I really think there's a lot of teams that can contend in the Big Ten West this year. The only teams I don't think are going to contend are Nebraska and Illinois. But Minnesota, Wisconsin, Iowa, Purdue, and even Northwestern to an extent, I think are all teams that are good enough to compete in the Big Ten West. I think it's going to be really interesting to watch. I really like Purdue. Uh, I think this is a tune-up game for them. I think they're going to have a lot harder opponents ahead of them. There's a good chance to get on page. Uh, Aiden O'Connell was putting a lot of balls into traffic last week and put get was lucky that he did not get picked off, to say the very least. Something he should work on this week against Indiana State. And I think they win and they cover the 35-point spread.